So you've probably heard this saying, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Well, one local high school leadership club knows if you try hard and are determined, you can succeed at anything and make history. Their lesson to all is a great example of what's right with our schools. It's a hero's welcome for members of the Southern Alamance High School's FFA competition teams. They're returning from the national FFA competition in Indianapolis with two national team titles, one runner-up and an individual champion. Huge, huge, huge. FFA advisor Nick Anders says it all started at last year's competition when the teams didn't perform as well as they expected. We're all upset. We're standing in the street of Indy, tears in our eyes, felt bad, and I said, remember that feeling. I said, when you get back, if you want to change that next year, we'll change it. And so they did. The students started getting ready for this year's competition last year, putting in long hours before and after school and on the weekends, too. It took a big group effort, and, and I think that's the thing I'm proud of the most with not just the forestry team, but seeing all 12 of them young people. If they can put the effort into that, they can be successful with anything they want to do in life. Southern has a history of competing well. The walls of the FFA room are lined with banners and pictures of past national champions. That in itself is a good motivator. To me, it's really special because for the longest time, looking up on that wall and seeing all those pictures, I always wanted to be up there. And I guess it's just sometimes it still, to me, it still doesn't feel real that like I'm going to be up there, that I did it and I made it. I called my brother because he, he done it too. And he told me if I didn't do it, I wasn't allowed to come home. I had to bag groceries up there. So I called him, I told him, he said, you can come home now. It's going to be really cool to see our um, pictures up on the wall and you know, just be part of Southern Alamance FFA forever. This group will be different, though, because never in the school's history have they had two national championships in one year. There's only a few schools that's ever won both of those contests at one time, uh, Eastern Randolph and Chatham Central, so we joined the ranks of those two great programs, and uh, I'm pretty sure there's only three ever done that. And then for our forestry team to finish national runner-up, no North Carolina team's ever finished that well in that contest. So that's pretty awesome. For the runner-up forestry team, they're already getting ready for next year. I want to win that national champion next year. The students say all of this changes them. I started being a part of FFA when I was a freshman, but that was during COVID, so I wasn't actually on site. But then once I started coming, I became an officer. I'm now president, and it's... Who I was then is completely different than who I am now. I would never be sitting in this interview if you had talked to me when I was a freshman. And that's because of FFA, because of all the leadership events I've been to, all of the people I've met, the connections I've made. It's just been crazy how much I've changed in the person I've become. And I have FFA to thank for a lot of that. Well, Mr. Anders and Mr. Drake say the teams could not have done this well without the help of a lot of community members who volunteered their time mentoring and teaching the students in their respective fields. Believe this, one volunteer was a floral designer from Minnesota who would Zoom with the students each week in order to help them.